Welcome everyone, and I notice I'm Lachlan. Dino is in elbows gear and Papa's in elbows gear. Uh, usual suspects, Dan number six, Max and Lloyd. Uh, I'll hand over to Dino who's going to explain this land the mat program he's got. Okay, land the mat. This is a drill that I've introduced at um, Heathmont and it's a standard drill. This goes out every, every training session. So it's a basic drill that I, I put up and I expect people to have a go at. Okay, it, it gives you a, a visual representation of where we're trying to get the bowls. Okay, so what the, what land the mat does, does, it lays the foundations for building the head. And it's particularly relevant for the front end. So what are we looking for? We're looking for, and we can take these uh, mats away now. <coughs> what this does, it, it sets a standard and a focus for discipline training, one thing. It provides a standard of expected performance. This is what you're, uh, if you're playing at Division 1, you're playing at Premier League, even at Division 2, you're expected to be able to land the mat. And what it can do, provide you with immediate feedback as to how you're progressing. So what you should be saying to yourself in this particular exercise is, okay, minimum length, my backhand, 10 bowls, how many times do I land it? Four, 40%, five, 50%. Set yourself a goal, set yourself a standard. Then you go to maximum, forehand, backhand. Where are your strengths and weaknesses in your game in terms of map length? and forehand, backhand. All right, so that's a primary aspect of it. It also forms a basis for a game, uh, team game plan. So your skip should be familiar with what you're trying to do here. So identify, know your role, accept your role, and play your role. And one of the functions of Land the Mat is that you are aiming to make sure that you have two out of your four bowls behind the jack. Okay, to achieve your objective, make sure that you are giving your bowl a chance and that you are reaching the head. It reinforces the same um, method and philosophy around the tunnel vision. Maintain control over the process. Stay down, eyes down, stay down and deliver the bowl as you would as if you were going through the tunnel. So quite often I use a tunnel uh, with this particular drill and get people to go through the tunnel to land the map. Okay, we're going to now do four bowls. If you'd like, like to head down the other end and we'll have a go at landing the map. Control the process. Came out really nicely, Rowan. Eyes down, head down, stay down. Beautiful. You'll make a good bowl on Sunday, Rowan. Can you make it three out of four? Not put any pressure on you. How are you looking? Looking good. Well done. Excellent. You get a game in a game in my team, Rowan. Okay, Lloyd. <coughs> Thank you. 
All right, you can correct, correct on that one. Good. Nicely up. And you'll be last again, number six. Max. Lovely. Controlling the discipline over the thought process is really, really, really important. It'll be interesting, Max, when you look at the uh, replay to see whether in fact you stayed right down because I, I tweaked that towards the end of your extension you were doing this. Okay, Danny. Well done. How's it look? Narrow. Narrow? It's okay. Cool. All right, that's two out of two out of two. Can you make it three? No pressure. Lovely bowling. Pretty good. Okay, guys. How did you find that? As a follow-up to the uh, tunnel drill, staying down, and it's you know you can all help each other by observing and watching and saying, did you think you stayed down? And you have a look at the result, and and to see whether in fact you pulled up short or you've gone across the head. Pretty, they're telltale signs, aren't they? As I said, really educating yourself to control what's happening from your shoulders up. And we all know that at times we're concentrating on the, thinking about the result of our bowl rather than saying, I get the process right, 
the result will finish up being what I want. So, well done, and we'll move on to the next drill. Well, just before we do, uh, one of the great drill, one of the things I'd know is I'd want to be in a team with any of these four. I was at the head just moving the bowls away. Every one of the guys picked up one another's bowls. Yeah. It was just so team oriented. Yep. Yeah, which is what you want out of it. So, Daniel, thanks very much for that. Boys, Pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Thanks.